dog is barking and it's raining but we have to deal with this kind of situation because if not Bear with me. <laughs> hey there, gorgeous! It's my glam child, Jaja, and we're down to the end of the month. I mean, it's April 30 today. I'm filming my April favorites, and let's begin. All right, so the first product that I've been loving this month is something that I added to my foundation routine, which is this essence all about matte fixing loose powder. So what I do with this is I apply primer and I set it with this powder. Now I learned that technique from Goss Wayne. It helped me to be mattified for a longer period of time. I have to say though that I still have to touch up throughout the day because my skin is really really oily so that's that. The next product is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Shade Medium. And I use this to set my under eye concealer. It just gives a really, really soft um, finish to the under eye area. I don't like the, um, the finish where it's really, really powdery every time I set the concealer with a powder and this doesn't do that. It just gives a smooth finish. I really like this powder already to set my foundation, but I was really impressed by how it sets my under eye circles or under eye concealer. So, speaking of concealers, I am loving this NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. Since my first impressions getting ready video with this, I cannot stop using this product. By the way, it's raining right now, so if you can hear like raindrops falling on the rooftop of my house, I apologize. And we just have to deal with this situation. So, yeah, back to this concealer. This is amazing, you guys. Um, the shade that I have is CW06, and it has a kind of peachy tone to correct your dark circles and also brightens your under eye area. In comparison with the Macro Longwear Concealer, they both have a thin consistency but this one is easier to blend. So with that said, I really love my Pro Longwear Concealer but I love this even more. My next favorite product is a bronzer and it is ELF Cool Bronzer. It doesn't have a name, it just says cool, but it looks like this. I particularly love this shade right here. It kind of reminds me of the Benefit Hoola Bronzer, but this one is even more darker than that, which is great for contouring. I'm actually wearing it right now, and it's not as harsh contour than other darker bronzers but it sculpts my face really well. I have a blush favorite for this month and it is this MAC in shade Fleur Power and this is my second uh, if I can get it open this is my second um, MAC blush ever. I love my first one so much and that shade is Melba so I had to pick up another MAC blush. This one right there. This is just a heavy swatch but blend it out. It's really beautiful on your cheeks. I'm wearing it right now. This blush gives a beautiful rosy cheeks when you kind of just apply it surely. And even if you have a lighter skin tone and deeper skin tone like mine, this blush will look beautiful on you. So I really recommend this shade. It's Fleur Power. The color that I've been loving is an oldie but a goodie and it is my Hang Fang Mascara. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I was obsessed with this mascara for a long time. And one day I saw this sitting in my drawer and I used it and I fell back in love with it. I use this mascara as a base of any mascara that I am using for the day. 
really separates my lashes, it coats them very well and it really makes it easy for me to take it off at the end of the day because like I mentioned before, this just needs a soap and water and it's off. So any mascara that I layer on top of this gets off easily because of this bad boy. So loving that. So we're down to my last two products. And those are my favorite lip products for the month. This first one is by Maybelline. It's their color Sensational Lipstick. This is in the shade 625 Iced Caramel. It's what I'm wearing on my lips on its own. And let me just swatch it real quick. And it is just a... Um, my kind of nude, you know. Um, a brownish pinkish tone this shade of nude just gives you a natural but healthy look to your face doesn't wash you out and so I really like it also the formulation of this lipstick is amazing because it's creamy but it gives you a very opaque finish what I love about lipsticks is when it's opaque, but it's creamy. It doesn't matter if it's matte or it, it's a cream finish, as long as it's opaque, I am all about that. Because I have a very pigmented lips that I want to cover. So, yep. That being said, I love the Maybelline lipsticks. And my last favorite for this month is by Rimmel. This is the Show Off Lip Lacquer. This shade is called Aurora and it's just a really bright, um, very opaque, pinkish, orangey color. And as you can see right there, it's really, really shiny. I used this in one of my getting ready videos and if you want to see this product in action I'll just link it down below so you can check out my first impressions on this but I love this because it gives a really nice shine to your lips but it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't bleed out it doesn't move Put. and I have no complaint about this product other than the smell. I really recommend that you try this out. Again, I bought this at One March store, so I'll just link their details down below. A lot of the products that I talk about, I bought from One March, so yeah. So that's everything in my favorites video. If you have any questions or suggestions, just feel free to comment down below and thank you again for watching gorgeous i hope that you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you again next time goodbye